Hello, um, welcome. Uh, doing another tutorial. This time it's going to be on blonde beards. I'm using uh, Ushanti bone so far. Um, I'm going to give it two thin coats. I'm using a size zero brush for that, and I've, I've thinned the paint just a little bit, but uh, not too much. Okay, so that's what you're looking for after two thin coats of the bone. Um, it needs to be an opaque colour, no grey showing through from the uh, original primer. Um, before we continue, I'll show you a couple of examples of the, the finished look. So what we're going for with the, the bone colour. Um, after that, we're going to do washes of brown into the, the recesses and, and the shaded areas um, and then think about where the light's coming from down this way so the top parts of the moustache are going to be bright and obviously brown underneath and brown under here and brown under here uh, here's another one but I think I use a different colour shade on this one um, but the principles just the exactly the same as what we're going to do because once the shade is dried we're going to pick out individual strands with the um, the original base color and then just work up with the highlights then and i think that was a different shade of brown as well you can play about with these if you want a warmer one or a colder one um, and we will get up to about white more or less with the highlights. So here we go with the shade. I'm using a mix of um, Vallejo's Armour Brown and Flat Earth. The Armour Brown was a bit too dark, so I've lightened it up with, well, it's more or less a mid brown, um, and I've watered it down quite a bit because you'll see on here. How thin it is. See, it just falls in to the recesses on the cup. That's what we're looking for on the beard. So, if you've got something to test it on first, you know, give it a go. If you, you can see if it's too thin, it won't stay. Or if it's too thick, it'll cover everything too much. So, just going in. Let's pull your brush down. Yeah, you don't want to go across it like that, but. I don't think it gives us a nice effect because you're following the grain of the beard. So let's kind of try and pull it under the lip. A nice dab in here. Just to make sure that you get every groove. doesn't matter if you get any on the skin either because um, I haven't done it yet and it's going to be quite ruddy and dark anyway so you need a, a transition between the hair and the skin so I'm not overly concerned about where it goes at the minute so I'll carry on with that and I'll come back when it's dry Okay, so that's the brown wash dried. Um, I'm not entirely happy with it yet, so I'm just going to do a few, a few more passes with the shade, just to try and get it where I want it. It's not, you can see it looks patchy under there, so I'm just going to add some more because this is, if you're looking down. You know, if you pretend that your light is coming down this way, you know, this, this part here is obviously going to be in more shadow than the rest of it. So I'm just going to put some more in there. Uh, just try and tidy up wherever it looks a bit patchy. Yeah, maybe there. Okay, so we'll just let that dry and we'll come back. 
And so the next stage is the uh, starting on the highlights. So I'm going back in with the base colour now, which is the bone. And just carefully pick out each strand that's moulded on of the, the hair. And don't worry if it goes anywhere that it shouldn't, but uh, just try and be as careful as you can. I've lost the point on my brush there, so I'm going to have to wet it again, get the point back. These brushes are usually quite good, but this one's been a pain in the arse today. Let's pull the odd hair out. Um, move my back and here. I don't want to go all the way down because I want to keep some of the shadow in there. So just think about where the light's going to finish and stop there so you keep the shadow part. We're going to be highlighting further, you know, with lighter colours on this area anyway, so it'll give you a nice contrast there. So I'm going to carry on and do the rest, and I'll be back. All right, I'm hoping you can make this out because seeing as we're using bone, <laughs> it's pretty close to the actual colour of the palette paper I'm using. So here's, here's the original base coat here. And what I've done, I've just taken some uh, this amazing white that I've found. Um, it's made by Schmincke. It's more or less an ink. So it's you know it's already watered down, there's loads of pigment in it, but it's great for highlighting. So I've just taken some of the white, added in to the bone there. And what you do is just make about three or four different shades, you know, highlighting your way up to up to the white. And add more white to that one there. Can see. And it all depends on how far you go really. You can go all the way up to white if you want. But as long as it's more dilute, so you know you're not gonna have a like a stark highlight on top of a bone colour, it looks a bit silly, but if it's thin, you, you know, it can build up a nice transition. So that's what I'm going to do now, is continue with the highlights. So pick one of the lighter colours. It's the same again, just pick out the strands you know, up towards the top of the beard and maybe go about halfway down. And because it's still quite thin, you know, you, you still get a nice transition so you know the, the color doesn't end abruptly that's what i'm trying to figure out is what terminology to use it's abruptly finishing the color you want a smooth transition into the next so that's that's the first color on um and i'll move on to the next so that's the first highlight done. Um, I'm going on to the next one up in the gradient, which has got a bit more white added to it. And I've also added a bit more water. So it's uh, slightly more dilute. Again, because we're looking for a transition. So I'm only going to come about halfway down now. Still picking out the strands. That's a good thing about Marauder Dwarfs is um, the hair is <laughs> really well sculpted. It's funny though because if you look at um, the likes of Ali Morrison now, he's well, he's bald. <laughs> I'll find it. There we go. All right, so I'm starting to lose the shadows there, so I might start. Thinking about maybe if I need to go back in with the shadow or not. I'll wait till it dries though. 
Uh, so the last highlight, you know, you got to keep an eye on um, if your paint is dilute, you've got to keep an eye on where you place the point of your brush. And uh, I was a wee bit careless and I've gone into some of the shadows, so I'm going to try and bring them back. So I've, I've gone back to the original shadow mix. I was going to try and pick out some of the shadows again just to bring them back because uh, it looks a bit silly with a bit of white in a recess okay all right i think we're, we're all right there i need to come in with another highlight i think but it's starting to uh, starting to build up nicely. Okay, so we're on to the final stage now with the yeah, still with the original mix. But if you remember, I made a few different uh, tones. So this is the last one, but it's got quite a lot of white in it. So because the because the pigment is so high in the ink, you need to water it down a bit more. So you know, don't be afraid about how much water you put in um, this one's going to be quite thin hopefully see it's still quite bright there I'm going to add a bit more water Just remember we want a nice transition and not a stark transition that's a bit better All right, so I'm going in with that and it's just going to be on the top parts of the beard uh, the ends of the moustache and the maybe the top of the eyebrows as well so we'll see how we get on I'm just dabbing it on there because I just want a little highlight remember it will dry you know it looks quite bright now but it will calm down when it dries A bold line there, so I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed doing blondy beards. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there for now and see how that dries. Okay, so he's uh, it dried quite nicely actually, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is when you think about your beard colours, you need to think about you know the colours around it, um, because I think you know if you talk to any of the you know if you go on any of these pro painting courses, they'll talk to you about you know light areas framed by dark areas and all that malarkey. So that's what I always try to do. So. I've I've just put in the blue tunic just to give you an idea because that like frames the area around the beard um, with the dark brown as well for the, for the crossbow. Um, I know we're going to lighten up the skin a bit yet but um, it'll still have a dark contrast against the crossbow because that almost frames the head. Um, you know, it's, it's something else to think about. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you in the next one.